name is Mandy Cass. I'm the genetic counselor here at Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers. Um, one of the biggest questions that I get asked as a genetic counselor is, what is genetic counseling? So what I kind of wanted to do here is just briefly go over what genetic counseling is, um, uh, patients that are appropriate candidates for this service, and not only what this service can do for our patients here at Ironwood, but what it can do for their families as well. Um, so there's, there's several things that I look for when I'm trying to determine whether or not someone is at a high risk for having an inherited form of cancer. Um, some of those things include cancer being diagnosed at a younger age than usual. So to me, I consider that anything under the age of 50. Um, I'm also looking for rare cancer types like ovarian cancer, for example, or cancers that are appearing in both of a pair of organs like bilateral breast cancer. Um, I also take into account ancestry, so people who are of Ashkenazi Jewish descent are at a higher likelihood for having some kind of inherited cancer predisposition. And I also look at family history, so I spend a lot of time going through family history with patients, specifically looking at who's had cancer in the family, how old they were, what type of cancer, that sort of thing, and I'm looking for certain patterns that would make me think that maybe there is some kind of inherited predisposition. So once I've gathered all of this information and I've determined that someone is at a high risk for having an inherited predisposition to cancer, at that point we can move forward with genetic testing. So this involves a saliva sample or a blood sample. Um, from there, the lab is able to analyze specific genes that are associated with an inherited predisposition to cancer. So at this point, many patients start to wonder why they would want this type of information. You know, why would they want to know if they're at an increased risk? Isn't this just going to make them worried? Um, and there's really two major factors that I like people to consider. The first is that if we are able to identify some kind of genetic predisposition to cancer, then we're able to tailor their screening plan based on the cancers that they're at risk for. So this could include increased breast cancer screening or increased colonoscopies. Um, in some cases, we're able to work more preventatively. So for example, if we identify that someone's at a very high risk for ovarian cancer, I, t I generally recommend that they have their ovaries and fallopian tubes removed when they're done having children, just to further reduce the risk of that cancer type. Um, the second major factor that I like people to consider is that this not only gives the patient information, but it's giving their whole family information. So if we identify a genetic change that someone inherited, most likely from their mother or their father, that means that their siblings are also at risk, their children could be at risk, um, pretty much the whole family uh, could be at risk. So at that point we could start identifying who else in the family is at risk so that we can make sure they're being screened appropriately for those cancer types. So that kind of briefly sums up my role here at Ironwood as a genetic counselor. If genetic counseling is something that you think you would be a good candidate for, please feel free to talk to your Ironwood physicians. Thank you for listening.